the New York Giants, first round selection, Lawrence Taylor, linebacker, North Carolina. And then, of course, there was Lawrence Taylor, the finest young defensive player to come to pro football in many seasons. Taylor's no-nonsense tackling earned him every form of all-pro recognition available. But the most meaningful testimony to his talent came from his teammates. He's ferocious, man. He's ferocious. I mean, he just runs over people like they're not there. If you can imagine a wet towel, you know, whack. That's how he hits people. He hits whack and just keeps going like they're not even there. Taylor was the most dominant defensive player in the game. And even soft-spoken giant head coach Ray Perkins sang his praises. He's a prototype outside linebacker for the National Football League. You know, he's an excellent blitzer, he's an excellent tackler, he's smart, and he's had a great impact on our football team. 22-year-old Lawrence Taylor. Without him in 1980, the Giants' defense ranked 26th in the NFL. With him in 1981, that same defense ranked third. <laughs> Some of the things that I tried to stress with that group in this locker room were consistent effort, consistent toughness, and a consistent aggressiveness in their performance. But for the guy that suits up in this locker, I never really had to mention those things because he was born with those traits. And I'm not alone when I say that Lawrence Taylor can really play defense. It's a familiar story. A quarterback gets his play from his head coach. And as he takes the field, an ominous figure catches his eye. His name, Lawrence Taylor. The head coach insists that we can't allow one man to upset our game plan. But like death and taxes, meeting up with Lawrence Taylor is inevitable. Finally, a bruised quarterback and a perplexed coach decide how to handle Taylor on third down. Simply call a timeout. Then you've gone and done it. You've made LT angry. In one game against Houston, LT was particularly angry, but a whistle allowed Archie Manning to escape with a mild swipe. Number 56 told Manning that next time there would be no whistle. And as it happens again and again, Lawrence Taylor eyes up his prey and his history. The most amazing aspect of Taylor's exploits was that he performed half of his miracles on a sore leg. And he and his giants hobbled into the Silver Dome on Thanksgiving, hungry for their first win of the season. 
First, Taylor wished a happy Thanksgiving to Lion quarterback Eric Hippo. And then he extended a holiday greeting to Hippo's replacement, Gary Danielson, and forced him into an ill-advised pass. Shortly thereafter, Taylor showed what an all-pro can do on one good leg with one terribly strong right arm. Still, the Giants were losing this important Thanksgiving game, and it was up to Lawrence Taylor to make yet another big play. It slides up on the right side. Danielson looking in, going for a pass. He's looking for King, and it's not this. He's going to go down the right side. Lawrence Taylor's ready. He might go all the way. He's going to go in. Lawrence Taylor, perhaps the greatest defensive player in the NFL. And thanks to his mighty interception, the Giants were winners at last, and their first victory was tailor-made. And even a living legend can never stop adding to his long list of laurels. Statistically, LT enjoyed his most productive year as he continued to wreak havoc around the league with an extra sensory style that stresses intuition rather than instruction. I still have enough ability. If, if I get into trouble, I can get out of it pretty well. Uh, you know, some guys um, have to play the technique, and the technique is what gets them by in the league. I play more on instinct than technique-wise. He has amazing instincts. A lot of times a play will come up and I'll ask him about it, why did he do something? And he doesn't really even know exactly or can't explain exactly why he does it, but it was something that he saw and in a split second made an instant judgment that he could make the play or beat the blocker or get wherever he had to go. And he has the ability, obviously, to carry through on that. He enjoys the physical part of it. He's tremendously aggressive at times to the point where it gets him into a little bit of trouble. But he's got that makeup of he just loves to play football. He really has no regard for his body. Taylor, a man whose predatorial powers have an almost mythological vein, making him the once and future king of NFL defenders. It was a year of individual and team accomplishment that began with a great deal of enthusiasm. Hey, baby, let's go out there like a bunch of crazy dogs and have some fun.
Montana inside the 10. Throw it wildly. Defense hounded Washington quarterback Jay Schroeder all day, forcing six interceptions and collecting four sacks. As usual, the spearhead was linebacker Lawrence Taylor, number 56. Taylor's heroics helped put the Giants within one game of clinching the division crown. It was the same ferocious form that made LT the NFL's leading pass rusher with 20 and a half sacks. He is without question the most dominating player that we've seen on defense. I've never seen anybody as big as he is, as fast as he, as he is, and as relentless as he is. Yeah, he, he's relentless. Uh, he has a motor that never goes off. He plays the game a thousand miles an hour, and he's really the most prolific football player that we have to face year in and year out. A phenomenal blitzer. He comes from everywhere all the time. When you hit see, you have to take inventory. You have to see if everything's still hooked up, and uh, you know, you get up and you start shaking, and you make sure your legs are there, your arms are there, and everything else, and, and hopefully he doesn't get there too often during the course of the game. Quite simply, Taylor spelled trouble. Throughout his career, he has posed unique problems for offensive linemen. As comrade Dover, Dover said, you hold him, then you leg whip him. If that doesn't work, then you tackle him. I feel it's an honor any time a team has to reconstruct their offense or, or do different things and to, um, to block me or, or to take care of me. After a 1985 campaign that was not up to his personal standards, Taylor roared back in 86 to dominate football like no other player in the game. Beyond his physical gifts, he has the extraordinary ability to concentrate, to harness great mental intensity hand in glove with his athletic ability. I know Lawrence Taylor very well. He's a, he's a catalyst. He can, he can provide uh, a lot of things to a team. He told me before the season what he was going to do. So I really didn't make any prediction. I knew what he was going to do because he told me. Taylor proved to be as much a prophet as a predator, and he achieved all his personal goals while his team earned a championship. I'm not very... Uh oriented person anyway as far as playing the, my position. You never know exactly what you're going to do until the last instant before the ball is snapped. And then that's where creativity comes in. I tell you, I, I can go in and run some stunts that they never even heard of, but if it works, I keep running it. I still rely a lot on instinct, on feel. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, I'm in trouble. But throughout his six NFL seasons, it's usually the opposition who is in great peril, not LT. A man with a bark as bad as his bite. Hey, Sula, you better hope I never get back in there. I will kick your Hey, baby, let's go out there like a bunch of crazy dogs. Have some fun. threatened he feels the more competitive he becomes he thinks that he can will anything to happen on the field i love showing my enthusiasm for the game
When I first came here to the Giants, there's one thing they did not have here was enthusiasm um, for, you know, big plays. And I do believe every time somebody scores a touchdown on defense, if I'm close to him, I'm going to jump on and, you know, try to wring his neck. Taylor's amazing achievements were equally worth celebrating. 17 years before, Alan Page of the Minnesota Vikings became the first defensive player ever to be named league MVP. No other defender would earn that honor again until Lawrence Taylor in 1986.
I've, Lawrence I've Taylor, really... the oldest linebacker on the Giants team, man. <laughs> Old guy. <laughs> After yeah. all, they're going to be saying you're over the hill, you're all washed up. They were saying that last <laughs> week, huh? Aikman back inside the five, throws, tipped high, intercepted by Taylor, he'll score! Oh, Lawrence the magician! Play action from the 10. In trouble. Sack. Lawrence Taylor. Young turns, hands off, break into the line. Giants hold it, fumble! Giants the Giants have the ball! Lawrence Taylor came up with the ball.